fiberglass cloth, mat, biaxles, and cloth tapes are used for constructing boats, planes, cars, and many other commonly used items. It is also used to strengthen structures that have weak areas or repairing areas that have been damaged. The flexibility of hock epoxy is that it can be used on items made not only of fiberglass, but also wood, metal, concrete, many types of plastics, and carbon fiber. This is the proper technique for applying fiberglass materials with hock epoxy. Clean the repair area with S80 Wax and Grease Killer to remove all grease, wax, dirt, and loose surface material. Make sure the area is fully dried prior to moving to the next step. If the surface area to be repaired is smooth, sand the area to ensure good adhesion of the fiberglass and epoxy. After sanding, clean the area again with acetone to remove all dust. Cut the fiberglass cloth or mat to fit the repair area. The Hawk Epoxy system has pumps for the resin and catalyst that measure precisely the proper ratio of resin to catalyst. Equal pumps of resin to catalyst will result in the perfect mix every time. Prime the pumps first to ensure no air is in the pumps. Mix the resin and catalyst for one to two minutes, being sure that all materials from the sides and bottom of the mixing container are thoroughly mixed in. If you're not using the Hawk pumps, follow all proper mixing ratios in the directions on the back of the Hawk Epoxy resin can. It is recommended to brush a light coating of mixed resin onto the repair surface area prior to laying the fiberglass cloth or mat down. Lay the fiberglass cloth or mat over the repair area and pour the mixed Hawk Epoxy onto the center of the fiberglass cloth or mat. Using a plastic spreader, squeegee, or fiberglass roller, slowly spread the Hawk Epoxy over the entire area of fiberglass cloth or mat. If the repair job is being applied to an angled or vertical surface, apply the Hawk Epoxy with a brush or roller. You must use enough Hawk Epoxy to completely soak the fiberglass cloth or mat through to the repair surface. The fiberglass cloth or mat will become completely transparent when enough Hawk Epoxy has been applied. Continue to gently swipe the area in long, overlapping strokes to remove excess Hawk Epoxy and achieve a smooth repair surface area. Use a fiberglass roller to eliminate all air pockets underneath the fiberglass cloth or mat. After the initial cure, when the Hawk Epoxy is still tacky, Using a brush or roller, apply another light coat or two of Hawk Epoxy to fill any voids that may have been left in the fiberglass cloth or mat. If a second layer of fiberglass cloth or mat is needed, apply it when the first layer is tacky but not completely dry. Apply additional layers as needed for thickness. Allow the Hawk Epoxy to completely cure. When this procedure is followed, the results will be an extremely strong Hawk Epoxy repair area.